Now for something a little different. In order to help show how I believe the spiritual world works, I have decided to provide a personal experience from my life. When I was four years old, my dad sent me to a pre-K class. I guess that's what it was. Macaroni pictures and coloring. That kind of thing. Well, one day when the kiddos were out at recess, a couple friends and I hatched up a plan. It was me and two other boys. We decided we wanted to make a break for it, as if the preschool was a prison. So when recess was almost over, we hid inside a large concrete culvert. This culvert was a part of the playground, no different from the seesaw or slide. So then, the teacher calls everyone in, except me and my buddies who were hidden in the culvert. Once everyone was inside, we took off. Three boys off on an adventure. Walking down the sidewalk a ways, we found a Burger King. So we went inside. Of course we realized we didn't have any money. It was too bad, because we saw a 25 cent ride there. We didn't stay there long. Eventually, we decided to go back to the preschool. I don't remember how long we were gone, but apparently we were gone long enough. Ooh boy! The teachers noticed we were gone. I guess they did a head count. I don't remember what happened as a result of the incident too well, although I bet our parents weren't pleased when they found out. So why bring this story up? Well, I've had time to think about things for the past few years. As a Bible reader, I know God knows the beginning to the end. Much like Satan can use something like the entertainment industry to foreshadow his plans, there is a holy version to this as well, except God uses our own personal lives to foreshadow our future apparently. So what is the spiritual significance of this story? One thing I realized from this event is that I wasn't ever meant to be in the prison. I'm not talking about a regular prison, I'm talking about this new satanic system that is emerging. The new digital system that is being created is a prison. The other thing I can surmise from this story is a biblical one. You see, there were three boys that went to Burger King. Or we could say that there were three individuals that went to see the king. Hmm, could that be a Bible reference? God knew what direction I would go before I did. I didn't get baptized until 2007. I was 33 years old at the time. What a quinky dink. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He would already know which side I would choose before I was even born. I got to thinking about time because of this. Knowing or being the beginning and the end, that must be nonlinear time or eternity. So when the devil knows the time is short, that also must be a reference to him being stuck in linear time. As we know, he is trying to get back into eternity. So what should people take away from this? Just think back to your childhood. Think about some of the events in your life. You might realize that something from your past might have symbolically foreshadowed something in your future. Looking back in my past, I realize that there are many more examples. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.